In tonight's Female Focus, it's one of the most common and dreaded surgeries women face. A hysterectomy, the loss of the uterus and cervix. A third of us will undergo it by the age of 60. Doctors are increasingly trying to spare the cervix to avoid damage to other organs. As Andrea Camburn shows us, either way, for most women, it's a last resort. When it comes to health, Angela Mikado drew a tough hand. Like millions of women, she has endometriosis. Bits of the tissue that line the uterus break off and lodge elsewhere in the body. The condition causes scarring, possible infertility, and excruciating pain. Some pain that would actually make me pass out. Um, I actually had a sink. Passing out, hit my, my head right there. In the past, if your daughter grew up and had painful periods, you said suck it up, take some aspirin. Dr. James Perez of Doctors Hospital says as docs learned more about it, they tried other approaches. For many, many years, continuous birth control pills have been a mainstay of uh, treatment for endometriosis. It worked for a short time for Angela. Then doctors tried other medicine and finally surgery to peel away diseased tissue. It works for some women, but not all. And that's one of the big puzzles about this disease. But doctors are learning more about the mystery. New research indicates that dioxins may play a role and heredity. Angela's mother and sister both have it. As a last resort, Angela will have a hysterectomy. She knows that means no more children, but it also means no more pain. Get rid of that pain, it's going to be worth it. With tonight's female focus, Andrea Camburn, 10 TV News HD. 600,000 American women have hysterectomies each year. March is Hysterectomy Awareness Month.